Waste that is buried in Niagara County is finally getting removed. That's right, the process has taken decades to figure out and will still take many more years to finish the job. Tonya Sides Nate Benson takes us on the site in Lewiston as the work now begins. Behind me are hundreds of thousands of tons of radioactive waste from the Manhattan Project buried in the ground. And after decades of meetings, studies, and public outcry, that radioactive material is finally getting removed. It's great to start moving dirt here. Chief of the Niagara Falls storage site, Jeffrey Hall, says there will be a lot of dirt that is moved in phase one of the project. Just how much uh, waste material are we talking about here? Just kind of put it in perspective for viewers. It's about 6,000 cubic yards. For those viewers who don't uh, have all their cubic yards to ton calculations, any kind of rough estimates in tonnage? About 8,000 tons. Okay. The first shovels went into the ground at the 191-acre site on Tuesday morning. There are nearly 100 areas of the Niagara Falls storage site, like the one behind this fence, that are marked off with flags and containment waddles. This is the material being removed by contractors. So that waste material is, be, is currently being stockpiled. And after that, we'll be uh, sending trucks on the road uh, up to Michigan. And there's been a lot of concern from the public about which routes trucks will take to move the radioactive waste to Michigan. According to a map generated by the Army Corps of Engineers, trucks will head south from the site on Herald Road and Model City Road. They'll bypass the Tuscarora Nation by heading east on Ridge Road, then south on Town Line, ending up on Lockport Road and Packard Road before ultimately ending up on the 190 and 90 on its way to Michigan. It's welcome news for Lewiston Town Supervisor Steve Broderick. I know the, the removal right now is lower level radiation of, of the surface ground outside of the containment area, but it's a start. Phase two and three, which are still being designed by engineers, will address the 383,000 tons of waste under the containment cap on site. With the work starting now and obviously this material being removed, being driven throughout the Western New York community, do you have any concerns? I don't have concerns. Um, any concerns that I've had have been addressed. Is there kind of light at the end of the tunnel in terms of this whole history of Manhattan Project waste in, in the Lewiston Porter area? Absolutely, and the light's closer than I thought it would ever be. Again, this will be a very long process to remove all of the radioactive material from this site. The Army Corps of Engineers hopes to have it all completed by the year 2040. On your side in Lewiston, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.